Hi friends! Welcome to another video brought to you by Miss Dana. Um, today we're going to be doing movement and we are going to be focusing on some yoga poses. And it is a beautiful spring day out today so I thought we'd do some yoga outside. And the yoga poses that we're going to be doing are also spring oriented. So in our previous video we had done three yoga poses. Um, we're going to incorporate those yoga poses into this activity and then we're also going to add in four additional yoga poses. So the yoga poses that we did in our previous video were sun, rain, and flower. In this video we're also going to add in tree, bird, butterfly, and planting a garden. Now, not all of these yoga poses are traditional yoga poses. Um, that's what's fun. You can take something traditional and kind of rework it to the lesson that you want to teach or what you really want to um, show as your objective for the day. So today, our goal and objective is to move our bodies and build our gross motor skills. So our gross motor skills are our big muscles, and we're going to be focusing on our big muscles and how to use balance and strength with those big muscles. So that is going to be the objective for today and we're going to tie in at the end a little storytelling with our yoga. So as I mentioned in the previous video, um, movement can be taken across different learning areas. So today we're going to be making a connection with movement to literacy. Um, and you can also work in dramatic play there too because we're going to be retelling um, a story. So in dramatic play, uh, we encourage students to listen to a story, then take props, uh, materials, uh, outfits, whatever they can create, and they use it to retell the story that we already told. So it sort of affirms their understanding of what we read to them, which is also a literacy connection um, when we're going to be connecting the poses, the yoga poses that we do. At the end, we're going to tell a story with the yoga poses. So it will give your child an opportunity to get creative, to come up with something on their own, um, and they can tell the story through their yoga poses. So I came up with a story today, and we'll do that at the end, but first I think it's important to go over the yoga poses that we had done previously and then also go over the new yoga poses that we're going to incorporate today. So why don't we get started? Now I have a mat here, a yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's okay. It's fine. Um, you could do it in socks, shoes, inside, outside, whatever. They're not too tricky of poses that you actually um, will need a mat. I think we could handle it without it. Um, I have mine out today, so I'm not on the bricks. So the three poses we're going to go over first. The first one is the sun pose. So in the sun pose, you're going to take your two hands and you're going to match them together at the top, and then we are going to balance. If you would like to challenge yourself in the sun pose, pull up your one leg, and that is the sun pose. The next pose we're going to do is the rain pose. And this one, you're just going to hang over. The next pose we're going to do is going to be the flower pose. And the flower pose, we're just going to have a seat. And you can sit crisscross with your hands in the center. Or again, if you'd like to challenge yourself, you can take your feet on top of your legs. And pose. That's the flower pose. These are the four new poses that we're going to incorporate for storytelling. This pose is the tree pose. You can hold the tree pose here, but again, if you'd like to challenge yourself, you can lift up your foot. And it could also be your left foot if you'd like to lift up that one. And balance balance and strength. And then we are going to be doing a bird pose. And the bird pose, you're going to have your arms behind your back like this, and you're going to come up on your toes for this one. So this one's a really good balancing one. And sometimes if you can't find your balance, it's good to look at one object and sort of hold your eyes on it, and that'll help your balance even more. So if you're really trying to work on that strength and balance, 
that's a good tip. Um, if you just pick one object that's straight ahead of you that you're trying to focus on, like right now I'm looking at a tree, and I'm just going to look at that tree, and then I'm going to balance. And that will make it easier because you're not trying to look around, and that will throw off your balance. So the next one is a butterfly. For the butterfly, again, you're going to be down on the ground, but you're going to put your feet together. So your feet are together, and then your knees, and you can hold on to your feet for a little balance. And for a butterfly, you can also flap your wings. The pose after the butterfly is going to be planting the garden. This one is the one that's um, a traditional yoga pose, but we sort of gave it a different name. So this is actually a squat pose, but today we're using it as a planting the garden pose. So you can plant your garden in the squat pose, and you can really feel that one in your legs. So um, just make sure that you don't hurt yourself, overexert yourself. Just do what you can. If you can only hold it for a couple seconds, that's fine. Or if you want to hold it longer, that's okay too. Um, I'm going to be holding the poses for at least eight counts. Um, but if you, you know, fall out of it, you can get right back into it and join us again. So why don't we go over the poses one more time and then we'll go into the storytelling portion of it. So our first pose, again, was the sun. So you're going to take your two arms, connect your hands at the top, and if you would like to, you put your one foot on your knee, and that'll help even more with your balance. The next pose is rain. And flower. we're already sitting, why don't we just go ahead right into butterfly. You know, flap those wings a little bit. Feels pretty good. Then we're going to do the tree pose. Then we're going to do the bird pose. going to plant the garden. All right, guys. So from here, we're going to tell a story. This is a story that I came up with. You can come up with whatever story you would like to tell, or you can also use this one. Um, it's totally up to you. So this is my story of spring through yoga poses. In the winter, the tree stood alone. But in spring, the rain <laughs> began to fall. began to grow. A butterfly landed on one of the flowers.
back to my story that I came up with. Um, as I said before, you guys can tell whatever story you want. Um, it's totally up to you. You could even look up additional yoga poses. These are just a few that I thought were very spring oriented and would be fun for spring storytelling. This, um, these yoga poses, they all focus on balance and strength, which was the goal and the objective today, which is building your gross motor muscles, um, which are your big muscles. So, um, in addition to telling stories, you could also use this as kind of like a family fun night and you could do charades. So you could actually act out a story with your family and you could have them predict what the story is, um, what you're trying to tell them, and the different um, poses will help you and your child get a little gross motor activity in while having a fun night of storytelling. Another activity that would be um, fun that you could incorporate um, and also adding in those different you know learning styles like we talked about before and what you could do is read a story a spring story most likely will have a lot of these words in them like sun rain uh, flowers so you could read a story a book that has these words and when your child hears the word they could act out that pose so that will make a really good connection to literacy and comprehension so that you know that your child is really understanding the words that you're saying because they will react a certain way because you prompted them to do that in the story. Um, it'll get them listening to the story, it'll get them focused on the story, and it'll um, assess their comprehension of the story um, and their storytelling skills. So with all these things that you can incorporate into a simple activity, it's really fun to just sort of see how far you can extend it. You know, we started with just yoga poses, but how much further could you take doing the spring style yoga poses? I hope that you guys had fun today um, doing yoga with me. I had fun with you guys, so thanks so much. Uh, can't wait to see you guys again, and have a great day on this beautiful spring day. Bye!